Hello, I am Prithika Zatshi and today I will be talking about behavioral addiction. In the recent times, we have become increasingly aware of uh, addiction to substances, but we also need to be aware and understand that people get can get dependence and addicted to various behaviors as well. Some of the very well-known forms is gambling and there are other behaviors that people can get addicted to including exercise, sexual activities, internet, internet addiction, gaming addiction, etc. When we're talking about gambling disorder, People develop patterns of behavior that include gambling to a point where they are unable to curtail their the behavior with their own wishes. They get preoccupied with the persistent urges to engage in that behavior. They often uh, report that they want to gain back all the losses that has been incurred and it leads to engaging in the same behavior again, incurring more losses. Irritability and restlessness has been uh, seen when there is a cessation of um, the behavior and it leads to poor quality of life, diminished intimacy with people, marital problems, financial problems, etc. When we're talking about internet gaming disorder, it is characterized by gaming that disrupts the other activities in your daily life to a point where it debilitates your role functioning. It is common in um, adolescents and it is often seen as an escape mechanism from the real life and the stressors. Therefore, it makes it a very dysfunctional and maladaptive coping for stressors. One of the reasons why people do get addicted on gaming and um, uh, on uh, uh, video games is the randomness that these games are made with. People get wins on a random frequency, therefore they consistently engage in these activities anticipating that they will win after some time. When we are talking about internet addiction, there are various uh, subtypes to it and uh, uh, it includes engaging in internet to a point where people are isolating themselves from the real world. They have no social contact. They are focusing entirely on the internet rather than their broader life events. And uh, it is also used as a dysfunctional coping strategy and uh, disrupts functioning at school and home. It's not uncommon for people to have uh, physical problems like being overweight due to internet addiction. Therefore, any stressor which is, uh, is met with a flight towards the virtual world, engaging in the people in the virtual world, which makes them feel very worthy, accepted and capable. The next is the shopping. It's a very socially acceptable form of behavior. Therefore, it becomes very difficult to draw a line when it becomes pathological. Excessive and impulsive buying of products, despite the psychological, social or financial consequences, are one of the characteristics that shopping has become an addiction. Often, the purchases are motivated to uh, improve mood, cope with stressors and improve social image as well. Therefore, it results because there are flaws in decision making and ignorance of the consequences. What will happen? after you make the purchases because people uh, often want to engage in short-term pleasures therefore they overlook the long-term consequences of it and therefore shopping is a very new um, phenomena that has been creating a lot of addiction food addiction as we are um, aware is the overeating and uh, one of the major characteristics that is there in food addiction is the presence of, presence of impulsivity. That means it is, it is the experience of pleasure in engaging with any short term things. Another facet that includes uh, food addiction is the compulsiveness. That is the persistence because it helps to avoid stress and tension. The major cause of food addiction can be found in the pleasing effects of the chemicals that the brain releases after eating foods that are high in carbohydrates and fats. And therefore, it works as a reward and including the short-term rewards for the eating behavior. 
the next is the hypersexual behavior repetitive engaging in sexual urges or behaviors that are um, in response to disruptive mood states or stressful life events and it completely disregards the risks that can be involved in these behaviors novelty seeking and short term satisfaction um, are often the reasons for uh, engaging in behaviors like these at last i would like to point out that behavioral dependence is often caused by behaviors that are very socially accepted therefore people get swayed into these behaviors as a form of managing their stressors and this becomes their coping which will become harmful which will become disruptive after a point because there are long term consequences to it be it eating be it playing be it any other activity it is of utmost importance that healthy boundaries has to be established with these behaviors and the potential uh, to be in the mid midway the potential to be balanced with these behaviors is very very important thank you